Hello, I am Commissioner Madarnell. Welcome to Mighty Five Conversations. Conversations is a monthly information and communication program focusing on the sustainable community. Economically strong, environmentally safe, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us. I will be back in a moment. What's making you sick? Diet, smoking, exercise, or the lack thereof? the sugar run in your family. Joining me in the conversation today regarding the health status of Fulton County residents is Jeff Cheek, uh, who is the health programs administrator uh, in the Department of Health and Wellness. Good afternoon, Jeff. Good afternoon. Pleasure to be here. Good seeing you. Uh, we want to deal with uh, health status today. Okay. We know that uh, the Department of Health and Wellness has just completed a rather comprehensive study of Fulton County residents' right. health status. Right. Uh, the entire county, uh, including Central and South Fulton. What we want to do today is to say a little something about the study. Okay. Uh, because I think it comp compares a 10-year period, right? Yes. 2000. Yes, 2010. Yes, sir. And uh, I'd like for you to maybe, Jeff, tell us a little bit about what you do and what your department does, and then we want to get into that study because we want to get some facts and information sure. out. Sure. Glad to. Um, I, well, I work in the Department of Health and Wellness, and we're tasked with a lot of different responsibilities. Part of what I do is um, I work in our communicable diseases branch where we're trying to stop the spread of um, illness within Fulton County. And we also uh, work closely with our health promotion branch, which works to educate the community about ways that they can They go healthier. hand in hand, yes, don't they? Yes, ma'am. That without that education and prevention program, uh, <laughs> there's no <laughs> real that. chance that we have of dealing with the spread of communicable diseases, is it? Correct. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, well, all right, let's get to the, let's get to the right. study. You recently uh, uh, looked at the health status of Fulton County residents focusing on certain diseases uh, mm -hmm. that are the leading causes of death mm -hmm. uh, in the county. Tell us about that, Jeff, because I was very interested and Boyd was mm -hmm. very interested to find out that there was some good news. Yes, yes there is. Let's talk about the good news <laughs> first. All right. All right. Well, um, I think one of the most exciting things is that people in Fulton County are living longer now. What we saw that was in 2000, um, men in Fulton County lived to be about 71 years old. Now it's up to 75. Women have increased from 77 up to 80. And yes. so we're doing well. And yes. we're doing better than the state of Georgia. Uh, we've actually improved with that. And we're doing well with some of our diseases. Um, as you know, uh, cardiovascular disease is the number one no, killer number in Fulton one County. In it. yes. and it's responsible for one out of every three deaths in Fulton County. But we've seen some impressive numbers. We've seen that over the past 10 years that um, deaths in Fulton County due to um, cardiovascular disease has dropped by almost 25 percent. and That, that is I, significant. It's a significant number. We're doing better than the state when we look at those and numbers And I believe well. the, the nation as well. Did yes, you have some statistics in there on that? Absolutely. Um, that it, things are improving across the country, but our rate of improvement is better than Georgia's or the United States. That's excellent. Our rate of improvement is higher than that of the state or the nation. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Talking about Fulton County now. Exactly. Fulton County as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> you know, normally people think that uh, folks uh, in the cities probably have poor health because mm -hmm. of uh, the pace and uh, activities right. and so on, but mm -hmm. the, the, the numbers just didn't hold up, did they? When you right. compare the uh, cities, uh, the, the urban counties. Correct. Right. With some of the rural counties, right. for an example. Right. And, and I think a large part of that is because within uh, Fulton County, we have access to quality health care. Mm -hmm. we, well, we have the opportunity to have good hospitals and good doctors. 
the challenge is not everybody has that same opportunity yes. because we have about 20 to 25 percent of people in Fulton County that have no health insurance mm -hmm. and so they don't have the same opportunity to get that health care that others might. And unfortunately I understand from public health officials like yourself that many of these folks are the working poor who do not qualify for Medicaid now. Correct. However, if the state of Georgia expanded right. the Medicaid eligibility, right. as some other states have done, right. including southern states, mm -hmm. then these folks will be eligible for insurance right. as well. Right. But let's, let's go on, uh, Jeff. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that, that sounds good. Right. Well, we've also seen some good improvements in cancer. Um, as you know, uh, cancer is the number two killer of residents of Fulton County. Yes. Um, and there's different cancers that affect men or women. All types. But, but we've seen that there's been about a 20% decrease in cancers, cancer deaths. Is that compared nationally? Or? Um, we're doing better than the state. Yes. Um, we're doing almost as good as, as the rest of the nation. Well, we know that uh, uh, you all have warned me over and over again mm -hmm. not to uh, be too quick to say what the factors mm -hmm. are. That, 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 de that determine improvements in these areas. Mm -hmm. But you have told us that we can mention the fact that there are many factors Absolutely. that affect health. Right. Go beyond diet and exercise too, right? Absolutely. Right. And I think that, um, that that's part of our focus in the Department of Health and Wellness is not just looking at health, but how you can be well all the way around. That's what and that wellness means. Exactly. Huh? Mm -hmm. And But part of the challenge is that there are many um, different things that impact our lives and that there are certain things over which we have no control. That there are certain things in our environment that impact our health. There are certain things, um, whether or not you have access to healthy foods, whether you've got a place where you can exercise, whether you have an opportunity to go to the doctor. Whether you have a job. Whether you have a house, whether you have <laughs> insurance, yes. whether you can afford to buy those groceries if they were available yes. to you. Yes. Um, whether you can afford to go to the doctor. Um, a lot of the diseases um, that we talk about a lot in the health and wellness are preventable. And if we could get people, for example, asthma, it has a huge impact on our residents in Fulton County. Mm -hmm. But if we could get people into the doctor's office where they could manage their disease, we could have a greater impact than we currently have. I think that is, of course, the reason why the Board of Commissioners, looking at this kind of data coming mm -hmm. from public health, made the decision to focus on neighborhood Absolutely. Uh, health clinics that mm -hmm. is uh, uh, decentralizing right. uh, the the health clinics from just around right. downtown, so that uh, folks would have access mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. primary care and from and to job exactly. training exactly. and the whole thing. Exactly. Um, yes. The board of commissioners gave us a directive, and um, it was one that we were glad to fulfill. And that is to look at what the impacts are in certain areas mm -hmm. and target or tailor the programs that you have to what the community needs are. So it's no longer public health saying this is what you need, but it's us listening and hearing that, okay, in District 5 we have a high level of asthma, so let's make sure that we're addressing that. Let's make sure that we're addressing cardiovascular disease or diabetes, HIV. high blood. Absolutely. HIV. We have high rates there too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, for example, at the Adamsville Regional Health Center, we've recently started some um, additional HIV programs so that we are there in the community instead of asking people to leave the community to come to us downtown. And that's where we get the study from. It's not just a matter right. of uh, putting it on the shelf and, right. and talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you gather data, don't you, that lets you know right. where to target. Absolutely. And, and also, you know, we, we've talked about some of the great successes in Fulton County in improving health. Yes. But the challenge is not everybody has benefited at the same time. Not rate. everybody has benefited. Right. In fact, some are sicker than everybody Absolutely. else. Absolutely. For example, in cardiovascular disease that we were talking about earlier, um, yes. heart disease, high blood pressure, and stroke, um, African Americans in Fulton County die of cardiovascular disease at a rate one and a half times that of white residents of Fulton County. We see the same sort of rates with cancer. Um, that it's about one and a half times greater death rate for African Americans than than Caucasians. Well, let's talk about that that uh, analysis, and mm -hmm. uh, we're going to uh, uh, show the maps that you all have uh, yep. developed, mm -hmm. uh, showing. Let's just take cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. uh, uh, focusing on Central and South Fulton. Right. I think is what the map shows uh, where 
the, the greatest disparity uh, right. uh, exists. Tell us what you found between 2000 mm -hmm. and 2010, mm -hmm. what it looked like for Fulton County right. and what it looked like for Central and South right. Fulton. Right. Well, we talked earlier about how Fulton County as a whole is getting better. Yes. So when you looked at what was happening with cardiovascular disease in 2000, that there, were, there was a greater burden than what we're seeing now. Mm -hmm. But then when you compare the map... You're just talking about Fulton now Fulton as, as a whole. whole. Yes, yes. ma'am. But then when you target in, in uh, Central and South County, as we did in this study, mm -hmm. what you see is that even though there's been improvements in the county, the improvements were not as great in, in uh, Central or South County. And even when it comes to asthma, right. even though there's been an improvement countywide, mm -hmm. that disparity... Right. It's still there, is that right. correct? Well, with asthma, that's one of the be uh, the best examples of a disparity that we, well, that's probably not the best way to say it, but <laughs> um, what we see is that um, the rate is about three and a half to four times greater than Af for African Americans than for Caucasians. We're going to take a break a moment, Jeff, okay. and we're going to come back and okay. finish looking at okay. what we're talking about when okay. we say disparity. Okay. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. Uh, Jeff, you were telling us that with respect to asthma, uh, it could be considered if you look at compare the rates of hospital uh, discharges, I think right. is a, mm -hmm. the uh, metric that you all use. Right. Uh, when you compare 2000 and 2010 in terms of the county, mm -hmm. your findings were? Well, uh, in terms of the county, we're seeing improvements with asthma. Yes. And I think that's uh, due a great part to community efforts. Yes. But what we see when we Community look, efforts. Absolutely. Have a real hard working group of community folks working with the department, don't we? Absolutely, we couldn't do it without them. Yes, yeah. uh, I'm referring up to what I call the FAIR program. Right. That involves uh, ordinary citizens, uh, health mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, parents of, right. of children with asthma and so mm -hmm. on. And uh, that, that program is, is, is a vital part, although I've been warned not to isolate factors, <laughs> but that community input, I think, mm -hmm. probably has a lot to do with right. what we've been able to do with asthma. Exactly. And we just owe the community folks who work with this a, a great deal of, mm -hmm. of uh, appreciation for what yeah. they're doing and tell them to keep it up. Right. <laughs> All right. But when you go over and look at mm -hmm. Central and South right. Fulton, when we say Central and South Fulton, I think the public should know we're talking about basically Fulton County Districts 5, my district, yes, District 6, mm -hmm. uh, Commissioner Garns District, and District 7. Uh, which is uh, Commissioner Edwards District. That's Central and South Fulton, yes. basically the area that you studied mm -hmm. and targeted, right? Correct. All right. Yeah. So when you look at Central and South mm -hmm. Fulton for asthma, right. then what do you see? Well, the numbers that we look at when we look at um, hospital discharges yes. is that the rate is about four times greater for African-Americans. Wow. And even more shocking, is for the number of people that go to the emergency room because of asthma. Yes. It's eight times greater for people wow. um, for African Americans. And eight we, and we times. See, correct. Yes. And, and I think it speaks to a lot of what we talked about about the social determinants of health. Yes. That it has to do with access to health care. That if, if you were able um, to see your doctor and be medicated and, and take care of yourself, that you could. So the number but, of times that children, Af -Amer African American children, go to the emergency room may not be based so much on the fact that they're African American. Correct. <laughs> it, it, it may be based on some of these other determinants right. that you're talking about. Exactly, and environmental factors, whether or not there's a large number of polluting um, elements. How close they the live area. to sewage treatment plants exactly. and landfills and exactly. so on. Um, access to clean uh, water, um, whether or not um, that they've been educated on how to uh, keep clean air filters within their house. So there's yes, environmental it, factors it, it's that have nothing to do with with one's race or, or one's um, um, ethnicity. Hmm, so asthma might not run in families after right. all. At least <laughs> the emergency, going to the emergency room. Right, right. That, that almost totally preventable. Almost totally preventable. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look, look at the maps on cancer and talk about that a little bit because sure. 
what I noticed is that both for Fulton County mm -hmm. at large and for this target area mm -hmm. of Central and South Fulton, that map is mighty dark. Right. <laughs> it's dark in 2000, right. and it lightens up a little bit in right. 2010. Right. But cancer is still a leading cause of death in Fulton, isn't it? Absolutely. And um, the, the leading causes of uh, cancer-related deaths are prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, lung cancer, and breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And those, in those four diseases, African Americans have a rate one and a half times that of white residents. Of so Virginia. the disparity is, is there uh, as well as with cardiovascular disease. Right. Right. So as things are getting better in the county, and mm -hmm. things are getting better in Central and South County, they're not getting better at the same rate, that we're not seeing the same level of improvements in those areas. So I believe that's the do. message that you all emphasized when you made mm -hmm. this report to the board, right. that, that while, you know, there are some improvements in mm -hmm. health status when it comes to these two killers, both of right. them are still killers. Absolutely. Uh, nevertheless, the disparity. Exactly is, is right. there has been no real improvement right. in the disparity. Right, right. And that gets us to this, this point you were making earlier, Jeff, about the determinants mm -hmm. of health status. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to hear my cousin say, well, I mean, you know, heart trouble runs in the family. Right. It might. Right. It might, because right. you did mention in your materials that genetic factors right are one of the factors Absolutely. Right. that can affect health status. Right. But certainly not the only one no. is. No. Absolutely not. Um, beyond that, you have to look at um, the built environment, whether or not people have um, a place to walk, a place to exercise, whether or not they have clean air and clean water. You have to look at the socioeconomic. That's an interesting point. What right. do you call that, the built environment? The built environment. The built environment, right. yes. Right. And then we have to look at the socioeconomics, whether or not people have a house, well, a, a roof over their head, mm -hmm. whether or not that they got access to food, whether or not um, they can afford to have daycare for their children so they can go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. um, then you also have to look at whether, there, or whether or not there's access to a doctor and whether you can afford it. And then you also have to look at the those social things that we do ourselves, whether or not we exercise. Behavioral things. Whether or not we're smoking. Smoking. Correct. And, yes. Correct. Um, and obesity is one of the greatest um, That's a big problem causes. for us in Fulton as it is nationwide, right. isn't right. it? Right. We're getting better, but we've still got a long way to go. Yes. And it, it's an important thing to look at because it causes um, not only cardiovascular disease, but it can also lead to other illnesses that, that, that you have, diabetes, low blood sugar that you were talking about earlier. I noticed uh, in your study, even though we are focusing on the two leading causes of death, you actually mm -hmm. covered uh, other diseases. Some of them are part of the cardiovascular right. group, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right? High blood pressure? Absolutely. And high blood pressure is another one where Fulton County as a whole is doing better in terms of stroke and in terms of heart disease. But in terms of high blood pressure, the county is doing worse than the state and worse than the United States. And then it's even particularly worse among the African American population. To what extent do you think that diet might be a factor there? Absolutely goes hand in hand. That, mm -hmm. that I think that, um, that you can see that losing, losing weight and getting into a healthy range um, involves exercise and eating well. And both of those things reduce um, cholesterol and reduce um, the risk of heart disease or, or stroke or um, heart attack. Yes, it is interesting that with respect to high blood pressure, this was the one area where actually the uh, uh, county rates were not good. No, no. The county rates as a whole. As a whole. Yeah, right, from and did I understand you to say that they were actually worse uh, than the state and the nation? And the nation, that's right. Yes. Some have suggested, public health officials, that um, high blood pressure is a sort of a regional mm. Uh, a, a regional right. disease, uh, uh, maybe those good old smothered pork chops right. are cutting <laughs> some, right. cutting some years yes. off. <laughs> and we like our salt. We like our fried foods. And, yeah, yeah, that's that soul food has right. a downside. Right. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. So it seems that um, uh, Jeff, if we are 
serious about health disparities. Mm -hmm. And the Board of Commissioners has adopted the policy of the National Association of Counties mm -hmm. uh, in this area, which is zero tolerance right. for health disparities, right. which means that the Board of Commissioners has stated formally and informally that what we want to do is to reduce right. and eliminate health disparities. And uh, the work that you are doing in the Department of Health and Wellness, mm -hmm. first of all, to identify uh, the real right. nature and define the nature of the problem yeah. is related to that goal, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, before you can address a problem, you've got to know what it is. You got to know what it right. is. And then you can set the roadmap for how um, the government and the community are going to work together to meet that goal of having zero disparities. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. It's our responsibility, though, to collect that information, isn't it? Absolutely. And to make that information available. And you said something extremely important, and that is with the community, you know, government right. develops approaches right. that will lead to the result that we all want. Right. We believe very, very strongly that if we continue with this approach, not only will we be able to improve the health status of, of adults, mm -hmm. but we'll be able to prevent, won't we? Right. Um, in we'll be children. able to prevent this situation from occurring exactly. with respect to our children and our grandchildren. Absolutely. But we certainly appreciate, Jeff, the, uh, the uh, excellent work that the department has done in this particular area because as you've indicated, it's very, very clear to us that the residents of this county take very seriously Absolutely. this particular Great. matter. Thank you for coming and thank in. you for your leadership. And, uh, we look you. forward to working with the department and with your staff uh, in the future. Thank you. I'll be back in a moment with closing thoughts. Alvin Toffler has written that it is no longer true that resources limit decisions. This is an age, he said, when decisions make resources. Few decisions in government can be considered more critical than the reduction and elimination of health disparities in this county. It is clear from the science that while sugar may run in families, it runs in zip codes too. That's all the time we have for today's conversation. Until next time, stay strong.